something different? Something different? What can we do different? Okay. All right. additional point uh, that our interest rates go up, it costs us an additional hundred billion dollars a year to service the debt. Does that sound right? Yes. So if you stop with your accommodative monetary policy, we could see interest rates rise, you know, two, three percent, right? So we'd have an additional 200 to 300 billion dollars of additional dollars going to service our current debt. Fair to say? That's right. CBO takes this into account in their projections. And so, I mean, for me, I look at that and say, that's, listen, this is a half a trillion dollars a year to service our current debt, five trillion dollars over 10 years. I look at this and, I mean, I see the lights going off, the sirens are blaring, and I'm almost setting a proverbial can on my counter and you're kicking it saying, listen, don't worry about $85 billion in cuts, do it a different day. Have you reached any conclusions about the Fed expanding its balance sheet by over a trillion dollars since last September. We have not yet reached any conclusion. Do you know who received that money? For the... We're, we're in the process right now of, of doing our review and... Um... Right, but you're the Inspector General. My, answer, my question to you specifically is, do you know who received that one trillion dollars plus that the Fed extended and put on its balance sheet since last September. Do you know the identity of the recipient? I do not know. We have not looked at that specific area. Do not know. We have not. I do not know. I do not know. We have not looked. We have not looked. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Road. If and I don't have much time, 15 seconds. If you wouldn't mind supplying and writing your plan for a long-term fiscal uh, approach, I would appreciate that because you keep. Whenever we try to cut spending, you come at us and say, "Don't cut spending today." No, no, no. Cut it tomorrow. If you have a better plan on how we can have a long-term approach to fix this problem, we actually looked at one of the arrangements, and one of the arrangements is nine billion dollars for New Zealand. That works out to three thousand dollars for every single person who lives in New Zealand. Seriously, wouldn't it be better to extend that kind of credit to Americans rather than New Zealanders? It's, it's not uh, costing Americans anything. We're getting interest back and it comes back. It's not at the cost of any American credit. We are extending credit to Americans. Well, couldn't it, it, wouldn't it necessarily affect the credit markets if you extend half a trillion dollars in, in credit to anybody? We are lending to all U.S. Uh, financial institutions in exactly the same way. Well, look at the next page. The very next page has the U.S. dollar nominal exchange rate, which shows a 20% increase in the U.S. dollar nominal exchange rate at exactly the same time that you were handing out half a trillion dollars. Do you think that's a coincidence? Yes. <laughs> The Constitution says no money shall be drawn from the Treasury but in consequence of appropriations made by law. This you money think, is not drawn from the Treasury. Let, well, let's talk about that. Do you think it's consistent with the spirit of that provision of the Constitution for a group like the FMOC to hand out a half a trillion dollars to foreigners without any action by this Congress? Congress approved it in the Federal Reserve Act. When was that? Quite a long time ago. I don't know the exact date. Uh, 100 I mean, 19, years ago? You really liked it. 1914, I believe. I, I don't know whether this provision was in 1914 or not, but the Federal Reserve Act was in 1913. All right. And at that time, the entire gross national product of this country was well under half a trillion dollars, wasn't it? I don't know. Is it safe to say that nobody in 1913 contemplated that your small little group of people would decide to hand out half a trillion dollars to foreigners?
I think what people need to do, what I've been forced to do through this whole ordeal is pick up the Constitution. For goodness sakes, we memorize all kinds of things. Memorize the, the Bill of Rights and you will know when someone is violating your rights if you know what the Bill of Rights are. The Fifth Amendment is clear. The Eighth Amendment is clear. My freedom of speech, which I'm doing right now, is clear. Cause I lost my job Two weeks before Christmas